everyone! Welcome to another episode of Korean Drama Phrases! So hello guys, Hanu here joining Kyunghwa for this Korean Drama Phrases lesson. Kyunghwa Shi, so what kind of phrase are we introducing today? Mm-hmm. Today's phrase is 찬밥 더운 밥 가릴 때야 지금 So to give you the translation, it means you're in no position to make a choice or you have to accept whatever you receive or whatever you're given, right? Yes. <laughs> so let's break it down. What was the phrase once again? 찬밥 더운 밥 가릴 때야 지금 Yeah. Do you usually use this phrase to your friends or family? Um, no, I don't think so. Not very often. <laughs> but in Korean dramas, you get to hear this a lot because there are more dramatic scenes, situations yes. in dramas. So, 찬밥 더운 밥 가릴 때야 지금 mm -hmm. I think most of you already know the word 지금. 지금 means now. Now. So, let's Skip that part. 찬밥 더운밥 가릴 때야. Okay, let's break it down from the beginning. Mm -hmm. What is 찬밥? Cold rice. Cold rice. So 밥, 밥 is rice, mm -hmm. but rice is also 쌀, right? Yes. Uncooked rice is 쌀 mm -hmm. and steamed cooked rice is 밥. Yes. So Koreans usually eat 밥 every day. 네. <laughs> <laughs> so 밥 is steamed rice and 찬밥 is Cold, cold rice. rice. So when you cook it and you let it cool down and you put it in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. it's chambab. It becomes chambab. 네. <laughs> but is chambab nice to eat? No. It's hard to swallow. <laughs> 그리고 맛이 없어요. 네, 맛이 없어요. Yeah. 네. Sometimes when it's really hot outside, you might crave some chambab, mm. but not really often, right? <laughs> Actually, my brother likes chambab because he wants to eat very quickly. Ah, yeah. chambab, but I eat chambab, mm. it's a little bit hard to swallow. So when I want to eat fast, uh -huh. well, I just skip the meal or I eat thumbab, which is the opposite, oh, right? Oh, you're very picky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we had chambab mm -hmm. explained mm -hmm. and the following word is thumbab. I just said it, thumbab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thumbab means? Warm rice? Warm rice, hot steamed rice, fresh cooked rice. But actually, mm -hmm. in real life, people don't use the word thombab yeah. very often. <laughs> what kind of word do you use for referring to freshly cooked hot steamed rice? Tugonbab. Tugonbab. <laughs> yeah. Not thombab because topda is like, ah, oh, towa. Yeah, it's so hot. <laughs> yeah. We're using thombab here to refer to the rice, but in everyday situations, you use thombab. No. <laughs> to refer to the weather. Yes. Usually it's tawayo for the weather and tugawayo for things that you can touch. Yes. The temperature of things. So tugaun bap. Tugaun bap. Chan bap versus tugaun bap. But in this phrase, for some reason, people say chan bap tawun bap. Maybe because tugaun bap is one letter longer. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to say it quickly. So, yeah. Chan bap tawun bap. And the following verb is karida. Karida? Yeah. Karida means to be choosy or picky. Exactly. So karida. So chambab, thombab, karil teya. Is it time for you to choose between chambab and thombab? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so when someone is given a, an opportunity and you think like everybody else around that person thinks that it's a great opportunity that this person probably doesn't deserve, mm -hmm. but this person is like, oh, I don't really like that option. Yeah. <laughs> and you can tell the person. Chambab thombab karil teya chigum. You are not in that position. <laughs> You're not in the position to choose. So, for example, if somebody wants to go on a blind date, and at first he said like, "Oh, please introduce to someone a girl, a girl." Yeah. <laughs> Just anybody. <laughs> yeah. But after he saw a picture of her before going on a blind date, he says like, "Oh, she's not pretty enough. <laughs> uh, she's not tall enough." So like, the person suddenly becomes picky. Yeah. Yeah. In that case, you can tell the person chambab thombab karil. <laughs> You've been so desperate for this blind date, you just yeah. take it. So I know this is not a nice thing to say to a person in that situation, but it is often seen in dramas or in real life situations too. 네. And for another example, you're looking for an empty chair, right? But then your friend comes back with two pieces of newspaper. You sit on that thing, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, really? Do you want me yeah. to sit out on that? And your friend can say, maybe you can sit on the floor. Yeah. I have this. <laughs> you have no choice. <laughs> okay. So in those situations, you can use the expression, please remember and practice as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We will see you in the next video. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.